Hello, Bay Ridge. Welcome to another edition of After Hours. Today, I want to talk to us about the importance of connect groups. On Sunday, Bobby gave a really good teaching regarding the importance of connecting with others, and he really covered a whole range of scriptures, a lot of information that taught us both why building connections with other people, why being in relationships and community with other people is important, and even the effects that that would have, how it would work in our lives. So it was a really, really important time for us to see all that the scripture says regarding the importance of relationships. Um, and how we do that here at Bay Ridge, how we build with one another, is in what we refer to as connect groups. We used to call them small groups. There are different labels you might have heard with others, life groups or cell groups. We call them connect groups to emphasize that idea of connecting with one another. But I want to speak just for a couple of minutes about why they are so important. Now, let me begin with a strange thing by saying we recognize they are not commanded in the Scripture. There is no verse in the Bible that says, thou shalt be in a connect group. There is no command that directly says you have to get together in small gatherings outside of the Sunday gathering. We are commanded to gather with the local church for worship, but there's nothing that says you have to do these smaller connect group meetings. So why do we stress them so much? Well, the reason is because we are commanded that we are to build connections with one another. We are commanded to build close intimate, ever-deepening relationships with one another, and given our current cultural context, we simply can't figure out another way for that to naturally happen other than in connect groups. Now, the reason I say this is our culture at present really causes us to live separate lives. If you think about it throughout much of human history, and even in many countries today, if you lived in a rural village in Africa or down in South America, your lives are very interconnected with the people around you. The people that you would go to church with, you would also live near to, your children would go to school together, you would trade with one another and work. If there were any other kind of community organizations, you would all be together in every one of those. So you would not only see each other on Sunday, you would be constantly running into each other throughout the week, hence building connections. But in our culture, it's not that way. We live in one area, we oftentimes go to church in another, we work in a third area, our kids are off at a different school, um, even from our next door neighbors sometimes. Maybe we're coaching in Little League, but there are all these different leagues that are going on so that we don't have the connections. We tend to see people, the people I see at work, I don't see in my community. The people I see in my community, I don't see at church. And so as a result, it's not... Uh, easy to build connections like it used to. So what this means is community won't just happen. It has to be pursued. And the avenue which we're encouraging people to use to pursue it is that of connect groups. Let me be clear, the Sunday meeting is vital. What, what Tony had talked about the week before, the idea of loving our God, gathering for worship, that is commanded in the scripture. But when we gather to do that as a church, it's not really the place that we can build vital connections. There's too many people here, and the purpose of what we're doing on Sunday morning is really more about worshiping God rather than building connections with one another. So for that reason, I want to encourage each and every one of us to find a connect group. It is vital for you. You need a connect group. As Bobby said the other day, uh, the puzzle piece needs the puzzle, and the puzzle needs that individual piece. You need a connect group, and the group also needs you. I also want to encourage you to be intentional about it. To find a connect group, it won't just happen. Sit down, look at the various groups, contact one of the leaders, and then start trying to say, hey, can I come, can I you know, visit the group and see what's going on? Take the time to be intentional to do it. And don't let other things get in the way. It's very easy. We're running around. We're very busy in our lives. We can come up with excuses. Well, I couldn't make it every week. That's not what matters. Gathering regularly, even if we can't make it all the time, to build those connections and relationships will strengthen us in our walk with God and build those connections with one another. Uh, I want to encourage you, if you look at our church, you can see that we have connect groups meeting virtually every day of the week. We have some that even meet right after the meeting on Sunday, and they meet at most weeknights. We have people that are gathering somewhere in different locations, different types of groups. Some of them have childcare. There is a group that is there for you. So I challenge each and every one of us, find a connect group, plug in, build those relationships. You will find it strengthens you in your walk with God. It gives a sense of joy as you're building with others, and that can even overflow in the rest of your life.
I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to gathering with everyone this Sunday as we come together to love our God. God bless. Mm -hmm.